Let me show you something right now. Watch this. This is a wrestling match. Now the guy in red is going to emerge victorious. But I want you to watch what he goes through before he wins the victory. He nearly breaks his own neck. He struggles with the opponent. It is not easy. But finally, he's able to push the opponent outside, making him the champion. You see, I want to explain something very, very important to you. A lot of times people call and say, Pastor, I had this dream and I don't understand. People call and say, Pastor, I have prayed and prayed and I don't see any change in my problem. Listen, the Bible says the Christian life is like a wrestling. In fact, the Apostle Paul says in Ephesians 6 that we wrestle not against flesh and blood. The moment you accept Christ, you engage in a spiritual wrestling. Now, the truth is that we are not fighting against human beings. We are not fighting against people that we see. We are fighting against unseen forces. Now, though we don't see them, we feel their push, we feel their touch, and we feel their punches in the physical realm. Sometimes, as a child of God, you go through problems. Your job will be in a mess up. Your marriage will be in trouble. Your children will be going wayward. Issues can happen. And sometimes, you can sleep and be having terrible dreams. You will think that evil spirits are after you. You will think that some people in your family want to destroy you. You need to understand that we are in a spiritual wrestling. And nobody enters into a wrestling match without being pushed or touched or punched by the enemy. That is why Jesus Christ said, In this life, you would have many troubles, but fear not, because I have overcome the world. So understand that just as in a normal wrestling match, whether you are the strongest or the weakest, you would experience the opponent's presence in your life. You need to know that the devil's presence will be felt in our lives as Christians. So you can be attacked by the devil, child of God. You can be tormented by the devil, child of God. But the truth is that no true child of God can be possessed by the devil. So those bad dreams are not always a sign of spiritual possession. The only way the devil can possess you is when you open a door in your life. And that door would be sin that you allow in your life. So child of God, deliberately, intentionally, be careful to live your life in such a way that you would overcome sin in every form. Know the schemes of the devil because until the devil causes you to fall, those bad dreams, those problems, these are, these are things that he uses to make life uncomfortable so that you would accept his devilish offer. Don't let them worry you. Keep fighting on your knees in prayer. Always have the mindset that I am in a spiritual wrestling and God has already overcome. And because of that, I would emerge victorious. Never allow anything, whether bad dreams, whether nightmares, whether job issues, whether marriage issues, whatever it is, don't allow them to sway you off the path for which God has called you. Understand that the Lord is going to give you victory because he has said, the battle is not yours, but mine. Walk faithfully with him and keep battling on your knees in prayers and God will give you the victory. God bless you. Shalom.